Much of the recent focus of the research that myself and our laboratory has been involved in is looking at the appropriate use of stimulant medications, and in particular looking at misuse and diversion of stimulant medications in typically young people, that would include adolescents and young adults. Some of the findings that we have that make it important to understand stimulant misuse is number one, the vast majority of people in whom they're prescribed, those are people who have attention deficit hyperactivity disorder, use their medicines appropriately and they use it as directed. However, there's a small percentage, probably 10 to 15 percent, that are either selling or giving away their medicine, which is called diversion, or they're misusing them themselves. We also are very concerned about people who are misusing these medicines, often referred to as non-medical use, who are in the general population, often college-age kids, and not only college-age kids, kids in college. And by the way, that misuse prevalence goes up based on the competitiveness of the school. So the more competitive the school, the more misuse or non-medical use of stimulant medications in the general college population. How often does it occur? Anywhere from five to 20%. So in some colleges, almost a quarter of the kids have used stimulants in a non-medical way. So why do we care? What do we care if a college student uses a stimulant medicine once or twice? These are safe medicines and probably it's not a big issue if they use it once or twice. But the problem is they don't use it once or twice. Data from our group and others are showing that 10 to 15 percent of college students actually have a stimulant use disorder. They actually get hooked on the stimulant and 40 to 50 percent of kids who use stimulants are using them pretty frequently. Another really scary statistic. If you look at the immediate acting stimulants, those are the short acting stimulants, in those who misuse them, 40%, 40% are snorting them. They're grinding them and they're sniffing them. Insufflation, it's called. That's problematic. We also know that many don't even know what they're using and they use what we call super therapeutic doses. They don't use 10 or 20 milligrams of Adderall as prescribed. They use 60 or 100 milligrams because they don't know the dose. We think that all college age students should be screened to see are you misusing stimulants or by the way any other prescription medicine. We think it's important because if you hear yes, our data shows that 50% of them have a substance use problem. That is, they are drinking too much, using marijuana too much, or they've got problems, they've got other issues. 50% or half, that's a real marker. We also know that 25% of that group have ADHD or Attention Deficit Hyperactivity Disorder and an almost equal amount have what we call executive function problems. The secretary of the brain is not working right. They have neuropsychological impairment. Some recent data that was published, again, collaboratively between Massachusetts General Hospital and University of Michigan, is if you look 15 years later at people who misuse stimulants, even once, it predicts in young adulthood that these individuals will have a substance use disorder and will be functioning occupationally significantly worse than those individuals who have, let's say, ADHD who are treated and using their medicines appropriately.